NVIDIA PhysX, now with 100% more abandonment. Hello players, come on in, pants off, expectations lowered please. Welcome to Sexy Tech, the only tech show that benchmarks broken promises. Today's story is a tender one, it's romantic, it's tragic, it's a breakup letter from NVIDIA, handwritten in C++ and wrapped in a GitHub repo. You see, after years of corporate foreplay, they finally open sourced all of PhysX. Yes, all of it. Every last moist memory leaking bit of their once revolutionary physics engine is now tossed into the open source wilderness. PhysX was the tech that made Batman's cape look like it was fondled by angels and made every crate in Mirror's Edge blow around like it owed you money. Now, this was the closest things we had to real game physics, but Nvidia's new RTX 50 series cards, well, yeah, they don't support it anymore. So after abandoning it on their 50 series cards, Nvidia stepped up and said, we're proud to empower the community by open sourcing PhysX because we can't be asked to support it ourselves anymore. Bye! So now if you're one of the three beautiful weirdos still playing Batman Arkham Asylum with tessellated rubble boners and on your shiny new RTX 5090, you're, you're out of luck unless of course you're insane enough to pair it with a second GPU, like a dusty old 3050, just for PhysX. And because nothing says next gen like a Frankenstein PC that dual worlds GPUs to make it Euphoria ragdolls flop with style. But there is a silver lining if you're into that sort of thing. Modders now have the full GPU simulation kernel, over 500 Cooper the kernels just lying there on GitHub like a freshly divorced MILF with a bottle of wine and no filter. Like me. I'm a MILF. It's a treasure trove of computational power just waiting to be recompiled into glorious open source chaos. Yeah, that's right, you could build your own PhysX support if you really wanted to, or summon a cursed AI that renders fluid dynamics exclusively in high -end tape form. Either way, it, it's more effort than what Nintendo ever gave. But there's also Flow SDK, which you might not have heard of. NVIDIA also open sourced that, which is their real-time fluid sim engine. You know, now you can crash your system with GPU-powered splashes instead of waiting to, for Unity to do it for you. But don't let the good news distract you from the fact that this is basically corporate ghosting. So what does this mean for the future of physics in games? Well, probably nothing. Devs left PhysX years ago like a bad religion. Havoc's chilling in, in Microsoft's garage. Unreal Engine has its own physics engine now, so don't need to worry about that. Duct tape to Nanite and, and Magic. And, and Unity, well, Unity's just Unity. But anyway, thank you NVIDIA for finally releasing the full GPU source, source code. And thank you for reminding us that sometimes when a corporation says we care about the community, they really mean we, we don't want to maintain this crap anymore.